Hello, this video is to show you how to insert extent indicators into a layout within ArcGIS Pro. So to do this, the first thing you have to have, obviously, is a layout in which you're going to insert these extent indicators into. So we're going to start by creating a new layout in our project in Art Pro. You can use an existing layout if you want to. We're going to start with a new one. I can go up here to Insert, New Layout, and then pick the size that's appropriate for the map we're going to be creating. Uh, in this case, I'm going with Architectural D in Landscape. So as you can see, this is going to open the, the new layout with nothing in it. So the next step is to insert some elements that are going to be required for use with the Extent Indicator. As you can see right now, the Extent Indicator is grayed out. Uh, so we haven't met the minimum requirements needed to utilize that. What we have to do is have a minimum of two map frames into the layout in order to use the extent indicator. So we're start by inserting our first map frame. So I'm going to go down, find the one I want. Uh, we'll pick this downtown district in the 2D map here for Tripville. So I click it. Now I'm going to pick the area within the layout that I want that map frame to be. So somewhere in this general location. So you can see it's inserted that map frame. We can see it over here in the contents pane with the various layers that are in that. I'm going to go ahead and rename this map frame to something that's a little bit more descriptive than just map frame so I know what frame within the layout I'm talking about. So go right click on where it says map frame. Go down to where it says properties in the menu that appears. And I'm going to call this something like detail view. So there we have it. Enter to make sure it, check, it takes it, and you can see where it's renamed it over here. So now I can go ahead and close the element pane. Uh, again, the extent indicators that we want to use are still grayed out because I've got to have a secondary map frame in here that will link uh, the two together. So I'm going to insert another map frame. This time I'm going to go to the general area map pick my default extents here and then insert it somewhere up in this general corner and again you can see another map frame has been added into the contents and again I'm going to rename this go into the properties and call it like general location And again, the reason I'm doing that is just so I can delineate which map frame is which. If I just leave it with the default name, which would be map frame and map frame one, then I might get confused. So by having these in here now, I want to zoom the general location map frame I've added to something that's a little bit closer to the area I'm interested in, like my city limits. So if I right click over here on the city limits and the contents, I can go zoom to that layer. So now it's zoomed into the general city limits for the city I'm looking at. And also notice up here, my extent indicator tool is now active. I can choose it. So I'm going to go up here and click it. And I'm going to pick detailed view. Again, this is going to be a list of map frames that are in my layout. I only have the two. So I'm going to click detail view. And then you can maybe see a gray box that has appeared right in here. This gray box that appears is the area displayed in the detail view. So I've linked this map frame to this map frame so that it shows the area that this one is covering within this one. Okay. You'll also see here in the contents that it's added that. I can turn it on and off. I can also go to properties and make changes to this. So if I want to change the symbol, for example, and make it something other than black, maybe pick a red color, I can apply that. You can see it's red now. I can make it thicker as well. So it stands out a bit more. So let's go up to say four, apply that. So now you can see that extent indicator uh, stands out a good bit more by making those small adjustments to its properties. So there you have it. That's how you insert an extent indicator within a layout in ArcGIS Pro. I do hope this video has proven itself to be helpful. 
SAN does offer training and technical support on ArcGIS Pro. If you'd like to learn more about these services, please feel free to contact me at tcorbin at sam.biz. I'll have that up on the screen as well. So again, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. It has proven helpful. And as always, have a good day. Thank you.